All right. Well, before we go to this problem, let me go back to the last problem and just r remind myself that the law of sines always spits out the acute angle. This could have been or 160 degrees, but y you can tell this is this is definitely not 160 degrees, right? So using the law of sines, the calculator gives you the acute angle. Many times, yeah, that, that's the, the answer, but just double check. It might be the obtuse angle, supplementary angle. All right, so here we go. Let's look at this one, and let's use a parallelogram rule. We're going to draw these two vectors tip to tail, give us a triangle, look at the angles and lengths of the triangle to find, the, you know, find what we're asking for. All right, so if the tension in AB is 3,000 pounds and the tension in BC is 2,000 pounds, and you can see that a is pulling it at 30 degrees from there. What angle alpha must boat B pull the barge to cause the barge to travel horizontally? And what is that resultant force? All right. So this isn't asking, well, it's sort of asking you to add these up, but it's telling you that the these two boats are pulling it, and it causes the barge to travel horizontally. So what does that mean? That means this resultant of these two is going to be horizontal. So they kind of told you the direction of the, um, they told you the direction of the resultant. It is perfectly horizontal. Let me try to draw this. All right, so there's the resultant. So let's draw it tip to tail. You, you can take this one and draw it up here or take that one and draw it down here. I'm gonna take this one and draw it right here. All right, so here's my triangle. You see this triangle right here? All right, it has one side that's 3,000, another side that's 2,000. This one is at 30 degrees, and I don't know the angle alpha. All right, that is the angle from horizontal. So that is this angle right there which is also this angle right here. Did you see that? It's kind of a Z. I look for Zs in some of these. Uh, but anyway, that angle is also alpha. So if I know these two sides, um, let's see, can I use law of sines? Can I use law of cosines? So generally, if it is side angle side, I use law of cosines. Let's go back to our, our law of cosines. Um, Let's use law of cosines when it is side, angle, side. Law of cosines, side, angle, side. But for most other ones, we use law of sines. I think this one is, is not a side, angle, side. This one, I think we use law of sines. How about sine of alpha? What is opposite 3,000? And then sine of 30, what is opposite 2,000? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So alpha would be 48.6, uh, but be careful. This could also be what? Well, if this adds up to 180, 130, 1.4 something. But uh, I think we can tell that it's not 134. If it's 130, it would be pulling it that way. Uh, so yeah, 48.6 uh, degrees. So, so that is the answer right there. Um, let's find this angle theta, uh, just to double check, okay, sorry, uh, because now we want to find, okay, what is the resultant R? So for the resultant R, if I knew this angle, which I really do, because I know two of the angles, the third one, uh, let's call this theta, 30 plus 48.6 plus this angle that I'm looking for has to add up to 180, right, because the three interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. This would be 101.5. 101.4 degrees. So now I can use law of sines again. Sine 30 over 2,000 equals sine 101.4 over R. And I'd get R 3920 pounds. And so that's what it asks for. It asks for this isn't the angle for R. This is the angle alpha that barge BC pulls it. And then the magnitude, when you add them together, it's traveling horizontally at 3920 pounds. So sometimes the question isn't just what add these up and what is the resultant. Sometimes it tells you something about the resultant 
and you have to find the unknown, you know, angle alpha, like this one. But we use the parallelogram rule, we drew tip to tail, we saw our triangle, use law of sines to find uh, what we're looking for.